you see Microsoft announcements for the 19 year research project yielding a quantum computer chip soon. Your thoughts, quantum's a real deal. A couple years ago, they said that was two or three years away and now here we are. And this is another reason I think institutional custody is so imperative because if you've exposed both of the keys on your cold wallet, when there is a quantum computer that wants to get to those assets, it's going to be able to do it. If you don't know how to rekey your wallet after every transaction, or you've already sent assets out of it somewhere, if you've only sent assets into a wallet, it should be pretty secure against a quantum computer. But if you have exposed both of those keys through, you know, sending and receiving transactions, it is possible that a quantum computer could hack it. Again, you know, on the other side of price appreciation here, that's why I think it's pretty imperative that people do get their assets into institutional custody. We don't have anything that's quantum proof yet, but very quantum resistant to the security and the way that they maintain the keys at Anchorage. They never actually pull the keys all the way back to get together when they execute a transaction and they rekey the wallets after every transaction. And there's other precautions that we put in place, working on putting whitelisted wallets in place so that if somebody did hack your wallet, the only place they can send it to is your own cold wallet. But to see Microsoft come out and state that you've got Google, you've got a lot of people working on quantum technology, and um, it's not surprising to me that that would be available here, likely maybe even here at the end of the year in 2025, maybe early 26, 